Hello, 622 Online. I'm your host, Mr. Granlin, coming to you live from my studio here in North High School. Today, I want to talk to you about week number five and number six. Now, the reason I'm combining these together is because there's quite a bit going on in this in this unit, in this week. And I'm going to be adjusting some, some due dates so that it fits better, I think, with the amount of time it takes to make these projects. So it doesn't land exactly like a week to week schedule. So this one gets gets two weeks together. So as we take a look at the main two projects in here, we have the Zach King Magic Jump Cut. And the things I wanna point out that there are some tutorials here. Basically, it, it can be a very short effect. You're gonna make a video that has one kind of magic cut. Now there's lots of options here. Uh, the This one here on the left and the top left, probably not the most helpful to you because this is done with After Effects and uh, Premiere Pro. So it's a little bit more advanced than you probably have uh, the capability of doing. If you have you know, an editor on a desktop station, you might be able to do this. But the things that I would recommend are here in these lower um, right hand other quadrants here so these videos are great they show you exactly what to film and show you pretty clearly how to cut it I think the best one is this one in the lower right this one on the left here is one that I did a uh, very simple thing but it's really just one cut just making one edit in the right location to make that magic happen so make that video turn it in I can't wait to see them the second thing that you're gonna do is a summative montage. So this is a one to two minute video. You can use these um, songs here so that you can cut to. They have a, the reason I like these songs is they have a very strong backbeat that you can easily cut to. So not only can you hear it, but when you look at the waveform, it shows where those beats are happening and it's easier to cut to. Um, you don't have to use them. You can certainly use whatever music you, well, whatever uh, school appropriate music you'd like to use. And then I have an example of something that I did, how I filmed it using my phone, and then how I edited, edited it together. Now this kind of short story idea, um, you don't have to go through this, but this is a helpful way of thinking about how do movies get put together and where do the story elements come into play, even in a montage scene. And so if you watch my video, I have these pieces in there. You certainly can have your pieces in there, but you don't have to. And I pretty clearly lay them out. You don't necessarily need to have like a, a shot list or storyboard. Those things help. They always will. Um, but these are just some ideas what's happened over the years people ask me hey how do I make this how would I like how do I know what shots to get and these are kind of my suggestions about how you like go about thinking about building a project so take a look at these examples and these tutorials they should help you through it and I can't oh and don't forget we have because we're putting two weeks together we have two weekly Wednesday short film analyses to do. So that would be number four, The Traveler, and number five, Buckle Up, a PSA. I can't wait to see your awesome movies and your awesome responses. And until next time, have a great day online.